Okay guys, so for this video, I'm going to be going over one major issue in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And look, before before I get into it, I like this game. This game is by far one of the best, if not the best anime game, especially Dragon Ball uh, fighting game. This has complex, fun uh, fighting combat systems has literally almost every character you could think of the like most side character like a character that only had like two minutes of screen time and he's they're in there i mean the the characters the campaign everything about this game is amazing uh i don't know what ign is uh rating it but i think they have um disabled people there because there is no way they got a seven but that's besides the point this game's amazing but I'm gonna get to like the. There's not many major issues about this game. This game is still very playable and very fun. It just gets very annoying where you, when you're on higher ranks. And I'm gonna get into it. Basically, um, the leaving. The leaving is they don't get punished. They don't get anything for leaving the game. And you, you're probably wondering like, why does that matter? Do you have you ever went against someone that's like A5 or A4, and then you're playing and you're like, wait. This guy's low-key dog shit. Why, wh how is he this high in rank? Why is he this much above me? Because I'm a B2. I'm going to have my ranked matches on um, playing as I'm talking. So you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm also going to give like a couple like reference points of like the people leaving the game. I don't always record because there's something wrong with my um recording. So I can't just, you know, uh, record everything. So these were the selective matches. And I was dogging, I think, this Vogito. And he just completely left the game. And I'm not going to lie. If I... If people didn't leave the game, I don't know this for a fact, but I don't know if you get, uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know if you get RP or MMR if the person leaves the game. Because if that's the case, I would probably be like um, A right now. Because it's actually so annoying. I know their shit doesn't count as a loss. Because there's people like literally like so, so high up in A that are actually so bad at the game. But just because they leave, they don't count it as a loss. Because you're probably going to the rankings and you're like, damn. Like, my, key, my one loss sucks, and my one loss is, like, a 54. I'm not going to lie. It's because I, you know, I, I'm, I'm actually, like, if I get smoked, I'm going to learn from it, and I'm going to bet. Uh, I will get better. That's how. That's why I'm, like, in the top 1,000 right now. I could probably get into the top five, 500 soon. And um and I'm not really using any cheese characters. I'm using Goku Super. I'm using Mini Goku GT, and I'm using uh, Super Vegeta, so I could get the Gogeta Fusion. But, yeah, my team isn't cheese. I'm using, like, a pretty well-rounded team it's not like a, a solid team when you go up against that you're like oh this guy knows what he's doing but yeah the, the leaving is annoying because people just straight up leave the game and they keep their uh, win loss they barely gets affected and it gets annoying because it's like bro that it's only gonna hurt you like yeah you want to get high in the ranks but bro when you actually play against people and you just leave like imagine they update it and then you fall all the way down to like fucking c1 or like d5 because that that shit is actually crazy because a lot of these guys like i don't know why they leave because it's just gonna make them a worser player because when they actually go against someone that could smoke them or someone they could learn from because that's how i literally uh got better at this game because i learned from people that destroy me i see what they do and i'm like oh i could adapt to their play style or when you're fighting you're adapting as you play because this game is very complex it's not like oh high block low block mid block and then hit your combo no this shit has evasions has counters has everything to it this game has like so much shit to it so it's very good to like play against good players to see what works and how to like uh overcome certain like play styles and then that that's not the only thing i'm gonna be going over i have like maybe two more complaints and then that's uh yurichi bay um the samurai guy that eats zensu beans that guy is needs to nerf he needs a nerf. And for anyone that's like, oh, you can interrupt it. Yes, I know you can interrupt it. And I play ranked and I'm smoking Yurichi Bays. Like one time I remember I literally uh, didn't let this Yurichi Bay hit me once. Hit me once. But then he grabbed me. When he was low as shit, he grabbed me. He took the Zensu Beam. Three HP back. Three, th three freaking health bars back. Bro, bro went from getting smoked to getting... I, I was fighting a six-bar player. Like, the way I see they should, like, balance it out. Because he's a 3DP player. Like, a 3DP DP player shouldn't be regenerating all of his HP with one Zensu Bean. And I know you could interrupt it. But, bro, you gotta understand. It's like, bro gets one opening and he gets all of his health back. That's what needs a nerf. Because what other character could do that? You pick the highest, like, ADP. Tell me what character you, they get a grab or they uh, win a Vanishing Clash where they could pop a uh, Zensu Bean and get all their HP back. And, um, yeah. He, he, I feel like what they should do is maybe lower the health that uh, the Zensu Bean maybe give it one bar. One bar will make it still, like, he will still be a really good character. He just won't be OP. 
uh, or just make it to where he has limited uses of them because the three like literally being able to pop the back to back is crazy and i know they have to use their skill bars but honestly skill bars are so easy to get it's crazy like some like some games i literally have six uh skill bars and i don't even know what to do with it because i'm not using characters that have after image and that brings me to my next point. Um, this is probably the last complaint I have about Dragon Ball because it's honestly a really good game. There, there's not much like uh, th things wrong with it. I just think there are some cheese characters and the people leaving rank, and that's After Image. After Image, I don't know. I, I might be wrong on this. Check my rank, see my gameplay. Tell me if I'm ass. I might be ass. Uh, but After Image is okay, like low key OP as well. As well, like After Image Strike is crazy. The reason why I say after image is low key nuts is because it's like it's literally meant for players that don't know how to play defense and allows them to play defense on offense. It's literally like, ooh, I'm punching you, vanish. I'm like, wait, the bro, bro, press R1 for that? No, he just behind you, ready to eat your ass. And then I 180, 180 at him, punch him over there, bro. He's behind me again. I turn, huh, right there. What the f like? What am I supposed to do? I I'm reacting to the fucking after images. I like I'm what I'm doing is skill. What he's doing is he has this thing that is a timer and that activates. The only thing I think they need to do with that is maybe put a limit on how many times it could be activated. So maybe like max being two or one. So when I, you can't do uh, y your character will do it, but now if I if I catch you there, you you're gonna have to use skill now, or make it. Oh, now you're getting caught. Because that shit is... After Image is low-key insane. And it's, it's, it's always on the bad characters. It's on Master Roshi. It's on fucking, like, cheap-ass characters. And people be... Like, I'm not gonna lie. They, like, they don't really know how to play or do, like, combos or how, know how to mix up. So they usually use this to chip away at your health. They usually use this against, like, high DB... Uh, like, not high DB. I use mid-DB uh, characters. But they use this to chip away at your health because they don't really... Uh, I'm not trying to diss any of y'all that really use it because it's a good move. I'm not gonna lie. If I if I didn't really care about playing like saying characters, I'd probably do that shit too. But um, yeah, I, I just think it, honestly, after image just needs a light nerf. That's that, in my opinion, that's all it needs. But Yurichi Bay and like a fucking uh thing to really stop people from leaving games or they like when they leave a game it actually counts as a loss or they lose a lot more MMR. I think. I think that will like actually fix the problem like very well because then these little shitters that have like oh because i'm like i'm looking at the ranking i'm like bro am i really that ass i like i'm here at like a 50 something a oh, win loss ratio i'm like bro am i really that bad and then i realized that all the matches where someone left my game it didn't count as a win and um and I, you know i don't leave my game so that's why I, uh <laughs> the losses do count because i'm not gonna lie i don't know if this is true or not but i don't know if when they leave the game does that count as a win, or is that does that give you MMR? Because if that's if that's the case, if it doesn't give you MMR if they leave, I'm not gonna lie. I would probably be like high A, uh, like mid A. I'm not gonna lie. Like mid A, I would probably be that. But um, yeah, that's basically it for this vid. The game's amazing. Don't get me wrong. Fucking best best Dragon Ball game. I love the the combat, all the characters, the graphics. By far, makes me nut. But yeah, that's the only uh, problem. If you guys you know, have like a counterplay to like after image or something. And it's just something I don't know. Please put it down in the comments below. Tell me if like my take is a wrong take or a hot take or just a shit take. But uh, yeah, that's basically it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah.